some of us prefer our fish on a plate, but marine biologist Marlene Pather loves working with them in their natural element. Karishma was keen to find out more about her work and what inspires her, so Marlene invited her over. The wonderful Maya Angelou said that success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. And if you love what you're doing, you'll always be successful. These words ring true for marine biologist Malini Patha, who's living her passion successfully. Malini was barely a teenager when she set her heart on specialising in marine biology. But on leaving school, she initially studied law as it seemed a more stable career choice. Fortunately, it wasn't long before passion overcame practicality. Malini, what made you fall in love with marine biology? My love and fascination for the ocean started at a very young age. I was probably in, in grade five, so about 14 years old. And, and ever since then, I just said, oh, one day I'm going to grow up and look after sharks and decided that that was what I wanted to do with my life. Take me through a day in your life. I specialize in quarantine and disease. So I really enjoy finding out what's wrong with an animal and trying to rectify that. So we work very closely with the animal health department and our veterinarians to figure out what is going on with an animal and how we can improve that. But really, I think it would be far better if I showed you um, rather than just told you about it. So you should join me in quarantine. I was hoping you'd say that. Let's go. Many marine turtle species are classified as endangered. So by focusing on rescue, treatment and rehabilitation, Malini is contributing towards their survival and health in captivity as well as in the wild. So Karishma, this is Shiv. You're welcome to hold her. Just be careful. You can pick her up. Wow. Shiv is just one of our many success stories. So we do have a rehab and release program here. She is a hatchling. She was found stranded on the beach by a member of the public. When she arrived, she was completely unable to use this flipper and was actually holding it underneath her. So we contacted a small animal rehab specialist and she came in and she showed us how to do some physiotherapy. We also used some light therapy. And lo and behold, after a few weeks, Shiv was using her flipper more and more. And then she was actually even able to dive, fight for her food, swim around her little tank. So it's really incredible. It must be one of the most incredible feelings ever. You know what? It's definitely one of the most rewarding uh, parts of my job. Every single turtle that we rehab is different. Each time there's something different. They need something different. But every single one of them motivates you to work harder and, and, and learn more and do the best you can do. This is Napoleon. Napoleon is a fully grown male turtle. He has a neurological problem. When he came to us, he was covered in barnacles, was completely dehydrated. He could not swim. He would not dive. So what happened is we used to have to give Napoleon swimming lessons twice a day, every day for about six months. Malini, have you fallen in love or formed any special bonds with any of the turtles? It's just impossible not to love them. It's impossible not to have a bond. You work with these animals closely, you work every day with them. Now, I know there's a lot more to your job than just getting to hang out with really cool sea turtles the whole day. Would you mind showing me some of that? Definitely. Please join me in uh, quarantine. I'll show you a little bit more what we do. Bye, Neptune! So, Karishma, I have something really interesting to show you on the microscope. Have a seat. So a very large part of our job is disease identification. So on this slide, that is a type of flatworm, so it's a parasite. When an animal is feeling stressed, then the parasites will have an opportunity to proliferate, and then the parasite has to be managed. Malini, for you, what's the best part of your job? One of the best things about it is finding the problem and then finding the solution. And what's the worst part of your job? There's some days where we're not as successful with the rehab, and those days are really tough. But I will tell you that the good days far outweigh any bad days. Do you have any words of wisdom or advice for passionate women out there who want to follow their dreams? Just persevere because honestly, nothing is more worth it than actually doing what you love. I think it's so special when your career allows you to work so closely with nature and that you get to spend your days really making a difference in this world. I love that Malini is living her passion with purpose and proving that biology isn't just for bros, but high-heeled wearing beach-loving babes too.